Hi, I'm Dawn and this is where Shabby meets Bling. Tonight I'm going to be taking three thrifted items, marrying them together, and creating something that they were never intended to be. This is the Thrift Flip Road Trip and I am coming to you today from Illinois. I would like to thank our hosts, Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs and Kay and Trish from The Crafting Cousins, as well as our very talented co-host, Annie from Crafting with Indiana Jones. You're gonna find the links to their channels as well as this fabulous playlist in the description box below. Thrifted item number one. Actually, there's two of them here and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet, but these are just giant O's. Oh, woo, woo. <laughs> a couple of big eyeballs. Um, but I thought this would be something pretty cool to make into something totally different. So I picked them up. I got them at resale at my favorite resale shop for a dollar each. Before I can do anything else, I need to remove these dowel screws. Each hoe, each hoe, <laughs> each oh had three dowel screws <laughs> um all but one was still in really good shape so i'm going to use my handy dandy little trick by using uh my my drill gun my screw gun to uh take these puppies out this is so quick so easy you act like you're putting a drill bit in and you just tighten it around the dowel uh, screw and you back it out. I mean, it's that simple. So quick, so easy. After these screw dowels are gone, I am gonna cut this little O in half. I'm gonna cut them both in half um, because once again, still don't know which one I'm gonna use. I'm just zipping along and uh, my battery died, so I had to change out my battery and then I finished the process and I was ready for the next step. Thrifted item number two. Uh, this little puppy came without the dome, although I have more domes than I know what to do with, so that was here nor there. I bought it because it was a nice wood piece. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to give him a little sanding and I'm going to cut him down. Almost in half. Almost in half. Thrifted item number three. This is just uh, an embroidery hoop actually half of an embroidery hoop the inside of it and I am going to cut this thing down and then I am going to glue it to the top as you can see I've already cut my little wood tray in half and my O's my O's are cut in half half an O I lined this piece up with the tray and just made a little mark on where I want to cut it and I'm using my coping saw to do so and once it's cut all the way through I will make a mark on the other side and cut it so it's the exact same size as my little tray. Here you can see how we are going to line everything up. My bottom of my half <laughs> my tray, and then we're going to position that uh, partial embroidery hoop on top. Because of the shape of the tray and uh, that thinness of the embroidery hoop and where I wanted to glue it, it was pretty tricky to get glued. So I utilized the rest of the hoop, every bit of it, to position it so I could clamp it into place. And it worked beautifully. You can see how I even had to wedge a little bit of cardboard in uh, part of it to squeeze it just enough to get it to fit on there. Absolutely perfect. You can see here that the original price for this embroidery hoop was well over $5. But Thrifty Thrifty Me Resale picked it up for 50 cents. With the tape coming off, you can see how well it really glued into place. I do have to trim that edge there just a hair. I had glued all three pieces together and let them sit overnight. Now it's time to release the beast. Release the beast. And there it is. Yeah, what is it, right? What the heck is that, Don Jones? It's an O and a plate and an embroidery hoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's about to be something totally different. Now it's time to paint. Yes, this a little uh, Frankenstein is getting a coat 
of paint and I am using just a flat black interior house paint because I'm thrifty. That's why I thrift so much. So uh, instead of using my more expensive chalk paint and whatnot, I'm giving the initial coat of paint to this little guy um, with house paint. And so let's clarify that. I'm thrifty, I'm not cheap. And um, I like to collect things. I'm not a hoarder, I'm not, for real. Now that my little Frankenstein item is all dry, I am going to add some of my beautiful metal ribbon to the very tip top of it. Now, you can see my little hoard, my collection, my collection, <coughs> not hoard. You can see my collection of metal ribbon. When you get the opportunity to buy this stuff, you get it because it's hard to come by. I am going to be using one of my favorite ones from the Dollar Tree. And it has that cute little uh, peak, you know, peak, 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 peak. So pretty. So at this point, you might be able to tell what this thing is going to be. We shall see. I am using my three-in-one glue to uh, attach this. Um, I was going to drill holes through the metal ribbon and the embroidery hoop, but since both items were so darn thin, I didn't want to crack anything. So I thought my best bet is to just use that good old three-in-one glue. Thanks, Monica. And uh, that way I'll just clamp it with my cute little clamps that I have, cleaning up any glue that might come out from the bottom of that metal ribbon as I go, and just keep gluing and moving my little clamps. Then we'll let it dry as well. Now to add some more embellishment. These are some of my little foam details that I make and I am just going to pick and choose which ones I want. Uh, some of these are available on Etsy. Um, I will leave uh, the link to my shop in my description box, but I am just playing with these little guys, these little beaded details right now. And one nice thing about the star foam is it's very flexible. So I am just wrapping it around the base of this little item and uh, cleaning up my glue as I go. I am a messy glue adhere. -er -er. <laughs> but that's okay. So I am playing with the different components just to see the way I like them. And I will glue, just hot glue, everything right into place. Some of the more elaborate pieces I am going to space out so that it is a symmetrical design. I cut one of these little uh, scrolls in half and one will go on one side and one on the other. And I am once again just hot gluing everything into place. Uh, you can see I have a little, um, almost like a tassel detail in between the half cut pieces and the whole piece. And once again, hot glue. And you can form it, you can form it, if you push in, you can form it to go right into that little divot of our little food tray, which is amazing, and more glue. Clean it up, Dawn. Clean up your mess. I'm thinking at this point, you might know what I'm making. <laughs> Not much of a secret, or is it? I don't know. So I'm adding uh, some more details, hot glue them into place, and uh, yeah, see? Can you see it? Do you see? Do you see the vision? <laughs> Get rid of the rest of the clamps. One a last embellishment. I am using these little cheap, cheap and it cheap plastic rhinestones from the Dollar Tree. And I am just taking them and I'm going to create a little spaced line of them along the top of my little piece here and I'm hot gluing them in place. They do have that sticky stuff on the back, but it doesn't really hold. So I'm gonna give it a little bit extra uh, 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 and uh, hot glue these little guys right into place. There it is. There it is, ready for its last coat of house paint primer. I'm just gonna hit everything one last time with that black interior flat house paint and um, after I'm done with this step I am going to use 
one of my rusting techniques. I will leave the link to how I create this uh, rusted technique in the description box below. Our little project is complete. Let's take a look. I have created a little vignette for my crown. And yes, yes, I know you know it's a crown. Um, I have a painted sign that says, save water, drink champagne with a crown on it. So I thought for temporarily, how cute would that be together in a little vignette? What brought it all together was the finish. It looks as one now. Paint can unify anything. A texture can unify anything. Marry items together. I love a good rust finish. Now this crown was made for something very special and uh, in a short time you'll see what it was really meant to be displayed with. But for now it's gonna just top this lovely little sign. Once again, I'd love to thank Sammy, Kay, Trish, and Annie for hosting and co-hosting this Thrift Flip Road Trip Open Challenge. You are gonna find the links to their channels as well as this playlist in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Share it with your family and friends and anyone that likes thrifted decor. You can follow me on Instagram and check out my shop on Etsy. Make sure to leave me a comment because I love hearing from you. The best way to support this channel is to subscribe, so don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications of all my newest videos. But for now, this is Dawn with Chevy Meets Bling. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.